Hi, welcome to the Belfer. This is the Brabazon Golf Course. We're on the eighth hole. We're talking about your tee shots with a driver. We're talking about a really important subject. We're talking about tee height, what this might mean about your golf swing and how you can change the tee height to influence your golf swing. So we get the option when we're on the teeing ground to tee the ball up. And I'm pretty sure that most of you watching this will, be, will have a driver in the bag and you'll be wanting to hit that club as consistently as you can and as far as you can. We therefore have to choose how high we tee that golf ball. This is something I see as being often a little bit of an, a bit of an inside view as to what that golfer does in their golf swing. You can see I've got two golf balls teed up here and they are very, very different heights. So the one that's closest to me, you can see how that's quite a low tee peg. So you don't really have much of the ball above the top of the golf club. And the second one here is certainly much, much higher. So we're not really going to talk about tee height just yet in terms of what you choose, but we're going to talk about how it will, to me, give me some ideas about what that golfer might do in their swing. I will see a lot of golfers who tee the golf ball like this one here, which is quite low. Now, as soon as I see that from a golfer, so maybe I'm giving them a lesson and we'll get the driver and they'll straight away say to me, that tee's a little bit too high, I would prefer to tee it a lot lower. And what I will say to them, we'll just tee it as high as you would normally tee it. And I'll often get them teeing it quite low like this. Now, straight away to me, that says that that golfer may well have a descending club head into the ball. They might have an attack angle which is very, very downward. Now what that really means is that really means that they're not going to be getting the distance that they could from that driver. We know now from Trapmans and, and the kind of other radars out there that if we can get the average golfer to hit up on the golf ball, we will be able to get more distance without really sacrificing accuracy. So when I see a, tee, a golfer tee the ball very low, that automatically says to me there's a very good chance that they will be swinging the club downwards. Now, many of the golfers that I see who do tee it low are quite aware of this. They do tell me that they think they hit down on the golf ball and they would like to change this. This is where the issue comes. When a golfer hits down on the golf ball, so let's say the club is traveling down by three, four, five degrees. If they tee the ball as high as this one, so the high tee peg, there is a very, very good chance that they're gonna catch the golf ball right off the top edge it's going to go straight up in the air. It's going to be in the air for a few seconds, but it's probably only going to go 70 or 80 yards. So a golfer who hits down on the ball and tees it high will often really struggle with strike. So the golfers who do hit down on the ball, having that ball teed very low helps them. It helps them get a better strike. It helps them hit more fairways. The problem is when we tee the ball down, we're probably never ever going to hit up on it because it's very difficult for me to make my golf swing where it would be a positive angle of attack when the ball is teed so low. So a golfer who hits down on the ball might tee the ball low, that might be the best option for them. But as long as they're teeing the ball nice and low, they're never going to change that pattern. They're never gonna hit up on the golf ball. For me to tee the ball that low and hit up on it would be very, very difficult. I'm probably gonna find I catch the ground before the ball. If I don't catch the ground, I'm probably gonna catch very, very low in the club face. Or I might just simply revert back to a more downward strike to get that ball off the tee. So really the video today is to understand how tee height can influence what you're trying to do. The golfers who hit up on the ball the most would tend to tee the ball the highest. The golfers who tend to hit down on the ball the most would tend to tee the ball the lowest. So maybe have a think about what your tee height is. If you're the golfer who tees it very low, it could well indicate that you are swinging downwards, you're not gonna get your maximum distance. But it's understanding that if you're trying to change that, leaving the tee height as low, it is, as low as it is will really stunt that ability for you to change that pattern. So, tee peg low, very, very good if you hit down on it. But if you are trying to change that, your golfer out there who's trying to maybe sweep the ball, maybe you're trying to get your attack angle more, more positive, I would say that would be a good thing for you to do. You're probably gonna find that gives you some more distance, but you will need to change your tee height in order to do that. So during practice, you're gonna to have to tee it very, very high to allow you to feel like you swing, get the low point earlier, and then hit up on the golf ball. So I'm gonna hit two drives. I'm gonna hit one off the low tee, and it's really interesting because as soon as I set myself up to this low tee, my first instinct is I feel like I've got to move a little bit more over to try and get a little bit steeper into it. Okay, and that was actually a pretty low slight fade and that's not really a shot I tend to hit so that would indicate to me that it was a little bit left with the path 
and it was probably a little bit downward as well. And the T-height would agree with that. Now this one, I certainly feel like I can make a different goal sink. I feel like I can hit a little bit more up on it and I feel like I can get a much, much better ball flight. Okay, so I definitely hit up on that as a much, much higher launch angle. The ball flight was incredibly different and the T-height has not changed my goal swing. But what it has done is influenced the way I feel like I have to deliver the club and that has changed my goal swing. So really, really important to understand how T-height can influence your goal swing and t get high or low can either improve what you're doing or maybe keep you on that road of hitting down on it and maybe it's gonna, uh, it's gonna hold you back if you're trying to make some changes. So, take a look at the T-height. Think about it a little bit more, maybe change it around in practice. I think it's really gonna help you if you can start to optimize it for your goal swing. And certainly if you're a golfer who's trying to hit up on the ball, teeing get a little higher, may well help you do that. Hopefully that helps. All the usual stuff is down below. There's a like button down there. So if you did like the video, click that, it really does help me. There's a comments box. So any comments you've got on this video, let me know. I'll do my best to respond to as many as I can. And lastly, if you are not a subscriber, it is absolutely free to subscribe. There's a link in the description and you'll just get a notification each time I upload a video, you won't miss any of the content. So thank you for watching as always, and we'll see you again here soon. See you back here again soon.